Sunrise proudly brought to you by APT, Australia's best cruise and tour operator. And Maya. Find wonderful. It is a big day in Melbourne for the annual Good Friday Appeal. It is a Melbourne institution, as we all know, raising money for the Royal Children's Hospital. And this year is the 84th year. That's amazing. Yeah, it sure is. Channel 7 is very proud to broadcast the telethon. Koshi and I will be there this afternoon. We're looking forward to that. But right now... Timmy Watson and Bruce McAvaney. Hello, Bruce. Are uh, the at the Conve Melbourne Convention and Exhibition Centre? Yeah, enjoy the telethon. They're always a lot of fun. Please give generously. We'll see you a bit later in the day. Good morning, Victoria. It's that one day of the year, the day when the entire Victorian community comes together in one common cause: the Royal Children's Hospital Good Friday Appeal. Give the kids a hand. We'll take it, give them your hand, together we'll make it happen. Your reward is to watch their faces glow. Right now, the kids, families and staff at the hospital are waiting to see if you can make 2015 their greatest year yet. And we're right there with them. Welcome aboard to our day of fun, laughter and serious business. Just remember, it's for the kids. So as we always say, give that they may grow. Come on, dig a little deeper and give that they may grow. Good morning and welcome to the Good Friday Appeal. Great to have your company here. It is a beautiful day here in Melbourne. We are live from the Melbourne and Exhibition Centre here. And alongside me is a man who probably I'm not sure he's the busiest man at the network, but if it's not Koshy, it has to be Bruce McAvaney. Great to see you again, Macca, after last night's opening to the AFL Season 2. Tim, great to be here, because it was a great opening, wasn't it, to the AFL Season, 83,000 people, and the passion of Victorians for sport we saw, well, we saw on Sunday, and we saw again last night, and the passion for this day for Victorians, I think, is just fantastic. And this exhibition centre, this convention centre, is going to be full of kids today, yeah. isn't it? I mean, the kids' day out, so it's just a huge day for, uh, for Victoria. I reckon, and obviously for the Children's Hospital. So many activities lined up, and we'll get to that a little bit later. Dixie's going to be out and about, as you know, Dixie oh, very yeah. well. He's always a man of fun and frivolity, and he finds it wherever he goes. Maka, just quickly about uh, the, the footy last night, yep. first of all, because uh, let's just talk about, about that briefly in the game itself. I guess it didn't really live up to sort of any great heights, but a great victory by the Tigers first up. Absolutely. Huge crowd. I love the build-up from the Blues at the start of the match. The hovercraft came out. We saw all of that. So we saw some, we saw some really good stuff. Um, but the match itself, it won't be the best match we've seen. I think the Tigers are going to have a solid year. Revolt was great. The new kid, McIntosh, yes, you know, from Pinjara, well. loved him. So we've, seen a, we've got a new bloke there. So look, and for Carlton... I think the best thing was Juddy. I mean, Chris Judd was playing some good footy. So, Tim, it's been a long pre-season and we're up and going and I can't wait for it to uh, unfold over the next six months. Well, this man's up and going too. Uh, he is one of the stalwarts at the Seven News. His name is Nick McCown. He's anchoring our coverage from the Royal Children's Hospital for the first time today. Nick, welcome to you. Yes, good morning, Tim. Good morning, Bruce. This is the engine room. This is where it all happens. Throughout the morning, we'll be introducing you to their patients, importantly, too, their brothers, their sisters, their parents. We can all identify with them, also their doctors and nurses. And I've just been reading through the profiles, and let me tell you, they do. They, they bring a tear to your eyes, but as well as making you cry a little, we plan to make you laugh a little as well. Always found, wherever you go in Victoria, there is always every person has a story about the Royal Children's Hospital and how the hospital has impacted their family, their friends. And we're going to try and get that feeling, that atmosphere, that mood going right here throughout the day. Now, as you'll recall, every year we have a poster child for the appeal, the face of the appeal. This year, it's young Oliver and what a beautiful face. Oh, the treatment he's received has been amazing. Um, we're so blessed and lucky to have this amazing facility so close to our home. I don't think there are words to describe how amazing this hospital is. And I suppose as a parent, you just want the very best for your children and we're so lucky to have the very best here in Melbourne. Before you're a parent, you, you look at the appeal and you watch and you think, oh, wow, what an amazing place. And, 
when you have kids, you go, I'm so glad I don't have to be there. I'm so thankful I don't have to be there. And now we have Oliver and we're here all the time. We had a beautiful, normal pregnancy and then he was born and we thought everything was fine. We had our beautiful third son. And um, shortly after, Andy noticed some, um, some jerky movements with his hand. And I was on a new mother high and I was dismissing it. And it wasn't until our obstetrician came in the next day that he um, saw what Oliver was doing and it was very serious. It's been quite a, quite a ride. Like there have been some um, very exciting moments and some very nerve wracking moments. And um, yeah, some challenging times, very challenging. But um, we're, we're still here two and a half years on and um, doing really well. And we either do the surgery or he'll just have seizures. No, it wasn't really a choice, so you know, we're, we're not very good at making decisions at the best of times, <laughs> but that was an easy one. Yeah. So We knew that it was his, um, the surgery was his only chance. Um, someone said best. I said, well, we think it was his only chance yeah. to develop, develop to be the little boy that he is and the little man that he's going to become. We have a vision of what Oliver um, will be and we see him as a, a walking, talking little man. And I guess the possibilities are unknown, so that, that, that's good in a way because um, we know that we can do, we'll do anything we can to give him every chance to develop and, and grow. There's things that he won't be able to do, but um, you know, we, don't, we try not to think about or focus on that too much. Okay, and with me now at the hospital is the beautiful Tucker family. We do have Oliver, who's just starting to get a little bit, little bit vocal. His mum, Melissa, dad, Andy, and, of course, Angus and Ethan as well, both very ebullient, outgoing kids. So, Andy, what does it mean to you and your family that Oliver is the face of the Royal Children's Hospital? Oh, it's, a one, it's a wonderful honour uh, to, to be chosen as the face of the, the Good Friday Appeal. It's, it's, it's fantastic. And we owe a lot to the hospital, so if there's any way we can help out, we're more than happy to do it. And, Melissa, we can see Oliver up and running here now. Uh, I mean, you've been through so many hard times. To see him like he is at the moment, what does that do for you? Uh, um... It's amazing to see Oliver's progression. Um, he's made such amazing gains and it's all, all thanks to the hospital, to um, the amazing teams of doctors and nurses and other allied health and staff that have really helped Oliver become the boy that he is today. And what are your hopes and aspirations now? Uh, we're, we never stop believing in what Oliver can do and what Oliver will do. and. Um, you know, we're, we're aiming for the stars. We'll never stop, um, you know, making him the best he can be. OK, I'm, yeah. I'm going to play with fire here. Angus, what do you think of your young brother, Oliver? Um, he... OK, Oliver, as always is the case, Angus couldn't shut Angus up earlier, but now, as always, he got a bit shy. We'll bring in Anne Randall. She is the executive director of the appeal. And you only have to listen to what Melissa here said before. And now we know what it's all about, don't yes. we? Yes, this wonderful family, the Tucker family, have been, are terrific ambassadors for the Royal Children's Hospital Good Friday appeal this year. And um, I'd encourage everybody to give generously to the appeal this year. And when you hear Melissa say the, the sky is now the limit for a little boy like Oliver, what does that do to you and your, your ambitions for raising this money? Well, that's, that's why we're here, isn't it, Nick? This is why we're here, to make sure that people like Oliver can realise all their ambitions. And fantastic to speak to you. An important time coming up. It's Oliver's third birthday on Anzac Day. What are you planning to do? I think we'll probably watch the footy because um, oh. he barracks for Collingwood. Um, <laughs> well, I've suddenly gone off him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But, but it's also your first chance really to have a yes, birthday party. Yeah. So, so now that uh, I guess th things are looking up for Oliver, we've got a chance to, to sit back and, and celebrate his, his birthday for once, which is, which is great for us and great for Oliver too. Fantastic. Good luck to all of you. And good luck to you as well. Back to you guys. If ever there was an illustration as to why we are here, just look at this beautiful family and look at that beautiful smile. It is an absolute corker. Back to you guys.
Thanks, Nick. A beautiful way to start the day, Nick. Absolutely. Don't you do an Angus on me in the next hour and dry up to me, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know this bloke won't dry up. He's in the uh, phone room all day. He's going to be catching up with some of the sporting stars who are a part of the Good Friday Appeal for the first time. Welcome to you, Nathan Templeton. Uh, good morning, Tim. Welcome to you. Hello to Bruce as well. Well, this is the phone room where all our wonderful volunteers take the donations and the phone calls, but they're not here for a day off, so please make sure you keep them busy. As you mentioned, as the ladies go through to start taking the calls, we always get wonderful support from the sporting community and the Good Friday Appeal. Later on today, I'm going to be speaking with AFL stars. We've got netballers, basketballers, Melbourne Victory soccer players. So... Keep watching, and we'll be talking to all your favourite stars. I'm also going to do the cream egg challenge to test out their skills, so keep an eye out for that. First up, it'll be Trent Cotchin, along with Andrew Swallow, coming up soon. Thanks, Nathan. You're going to be a very busy man before we go to the break, Macca. I know you love your numbers. What is that most important so, number so today? So the first test today, <laughs> G, you're a hard man. 1,300, 277, 325. That's the number, Tim. That was perfect. We'll be back with more after this break. 墨爾本皇家兒童醫院呼籲大家捐贈，請打電話嚟一三二零零二七七三二五。多謝。